Hello YouTube, Spidey here bringing you another video regarding the Season 3 Relegation Tournament. In my last video, I did say that I was going to make a video on this and the roster changes that are here to come. But that these are going to be separate videos, the Season 3 Relegation and the roster changes. I'll make the roster change at some time in the near future. But let's go ahead and get into this Relegation Tournament. The Season 3 Relegation Tournament is just for, there's 16 teams and they're just this is just a tournament to see the top 4 teams qualify for Season 3. There's already 8 teams in the league, now there's 12 teams in the league. But eight teams from X Games, they are a, they're already in season three, and then these top four teams go ahead and go to season three, and that equals twelve teams. And bam, let's go and head straight into this, guys. Thirteenth through sixteenth place, Mutiny play straight dead freaking last, guys. That I just I don't like that team. I don't like the roster. I don't like anything about them. They got nine hundred pro points each. The roster is Reviction. Nuglet, Lacefield, and Slush. Except for Slush couldn't come, so the fill-in was Nelson. Ugh, I don't like Nelson, dude. I don't like Nelson. He just complains. He he argues. He just does everything. I don't freaking like it. He thinks he's so good at the game, but I don't like him. Alright, guys. So don't judge me. I don't like Nuglet. I mean, I don't like friggin' uh, B. Nelson. I don't even know any of this mutiny team except for Nelson, even though he's just he was just a fill-in, but yeah, let's go ahead and move to the next placing, Enigma 6, bam, you know, I definitely had the, this team placing way higher, but they, didn't, they don't have the best team, Generals, M. Ruiz, Holler, Proto, I don't really know who Holler and Proto are, they're alright, I guess, I didn't watch any of their matches, but they placed pretty much dead last, guys, you know, they didn't place very good, they placed 13th through 16th, and, um, yeah, they only got 900 pro points each. They didn't do very good at all. But, yeah, I'm not even sure the team they actually lost to. They probably lost to, like, VVV. I'm pretty sure they actually lost to VVV. And, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and head into this next team, Geared for Gaming. They got 13th through 16th, obviously. They got 900 pro points each. This is the team that full of Dylans. All four of the players are named Dylan. I think that's awesome. But this roster is simple cells, pickles, envoy. I definitely think Pickles needs to be picked up to a league team. Pickles is really good. He went off this event. If he can go off a, a couple more events, like maybe just one more, if he can go off at Dallas, he could definitely be picked up to a league team. Like, um, you know, Pickles, really good player. Really good player. A lot of these teams that didn't qualify have players that deserve to be in the league. Like, they're really good. A lot of a lot of these AM teams are just showing their talent and why they deserve to be pro and be in the league and stuff. And I think that's just awesome. That gives me a smile on my freaking face. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and head into this next team. Automatic reload. It's left XGN. I'm not even sure how that works. I don't know if they go under XGN. I don't know if they go under AR. But they got 13th through 16th. They got 900 pro points each. And the roster is BL Fire, Felony, Lawless, Merc. You know, obviously everyone knows Felony and Merc. Felony was back in the MW3 days. Merc has been around in this gaming scene forever. And um, yeah, and then Lawless and BL Fire. I, I know this whole entire roster, but they're just not the best players. Merc is all right. He, it kind of sucks that he's going all the way down to these lower orgs. And I don't think he's going to be on a league team. He hasn't been on a league team in a little while since like season one. It sucks, but he's probably not going to get a league team along with a lot of players. A lot of these players could get honey dicked off league teams too. And it, it sucks. It sucks. But, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. So let's go ahead and head to ninth through 12th place. We have three stuff enterprises. I definitely have them placing a lot lower. But, I mean, at least they placed ninth through, ninth through 12th. They got 1,100 pro points each. The whole entire ninth through 12th got 1,100 pro points each. And the roster for 3-sup is Strife, Khalifa, Diabolic, Cinder. Uh, everyone knows Cinder from that uh, Noble Conquer. Noble, no, it's Van Noble Vanquish squad. And Ghost, Season 3, Playoffs, they play second. They almost beat Envy, but they just came a little short. Um, you know, they definitely, they, their whole team got dropped on that Noble Vanquish. Sorry, my alarm is going off. Whoopsies. All right. But... Yeah, that, you know, they got 9th through 12th, not the best placing, definitely not the placing they won. None of these teams that qualify got the placing they won, because they just want top four, obviously. Obviously, guys. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and go to DT Purple. D I like this, okay? I, I like this team a lot, actually. 
the team is Fox, Baker, Demi, Stringo. If Baker doesn't get a, get on a league team, I think I'm going to cry. I'm literally going to bury myself inside of a tree and then eat the tree. And then I'm going to throw the tree up. I'm going to re re regurgitate it. And then I'm going to freaking snort my, I don't even know, my vomit, I guess. And then I'm going to freaking chop my foot off. I don't even know, guys. Okay, I'm having speech issues here. I must be, I don't even know, man. But Baker deserves to be on a league team. He deserves to be on a league team. Okay, put him on a league team. This kid is amazing. He went off. Even Stringo is good. But Baker is absolutely amazing. But like I said, the roster is Fox, Baker, Demi, Stringo. They got 9th through 12th. Not the place they wanted. Obviously, they got 1,100 pro points each. Let's go ahead and head to the next team. DT Blue, 9th through 12th. The roster is Swarly, Assault, Fears, Jump. I don't want to spend too much time on these lower teams. You know, I'm not even trying to be mean. But obviously, they got 9th through 12th. Not the best team in the world. Let's go ahead and head into Vex Gaming. Profit, Fastball, Wreck, Jasono. You know them from Cali. They got a decent placing. They almost beat Op Gaming at a hard point. Uh, fastball, most aggressive SD player I've ever seen in my life. SD Solar, he was uh, he was top fans in about three seconds, and he got picked off by like an AR or something. Uh, literally most aggressive SD player I've ever seen. When I say literally, I mean literally, guys. Now this next team, I definitely did not have them placing. I thought they were gonna place like dead friggin' last. All right, VVV Gaming, Fizzerp, John, Twiz, Killa. Uh, they argue, they just don't like each other, they don't play together, they just don't scrim, they don't, they don't do anything. Just Killa and Fizzer like doing S&D tourneys. Late night S&D tourneys is what they like to do, and they're a pro at it, honestly. Uh, they got 7 through 8, and uh, you know, I didn't have them placing very good at all, man. Now, this next team, I, I had them placing in the league well they weren't my top four but i definitely thought they were going to it's kind of weird like i didn't think they i thought they were going to qualify for the league but i just didn't have them in my top four and i will say my top four in a little bit but strictly business now this isn't the best squad obviously study and tisty spacely tcm but they i just thought they put in a lot of practice they played a lot they I, they put so much time into this just to try and qualify for the league and now, obviously, that team is broken up because they didn't qualify for the league. They had 7 through 8, 1,400 pro points each. And let's go ahead and head to this next team. Now, this next team, everyone had them winning this whole entire tournament. Prophecy, Aix, Apathy, Aqua, Octane. Let me say that again. Aix, world champion. Apathy, two-time world. I mean, two-time uh, MLG champion or something like that. Aqua got second at freaking uh, um, uh, champs. Octane, he, he, he was just good, okay? And, um, you know, they got 5th through 6th. I definitely had them placing a lot higher. I thought they were going to qualify for the league and place first at this event. But uh, it was, there was kind of an upset, all right? Uh, they lost to ISO 5-5. It was, it was a really close game, but they, they just came a little short. Uh, they got 5th through 6th, 1,600 pro points each. Let's go ahead and head into Synergy, Legal, IV, Pac-Man, Miyagi. I kind of like this team. Pa I love Pac-Man, guys. Like, he's just, like, he's a role model for me. Like, he's, my, honestly, he's close enough to be my father. Like, I'm kind of, like, a pale white, and he's, like, a dark black, and it's just, it goes together. I'm, like, Casper the Ghost, dude. Like, I literally blend in with Beach Sand. I'm so freaking white. But, let's go ahead and head into the top four guys optic nation i love this team they got thousand dollars 1800 pro points each the roster is bows miracles ricky mochilla moch 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 i love moch he's my favorite pro player i'm so glad he has been deserving to be on a big org for the longest time, he was amazing in Ghost, amazing in AW. He dropped 40s, 50s, every single respawn, dude. It's crazy. Moch is literally one of the top, definitely a top five player in this game. I love Moch. I, I mean, the only, the only flaw I guess he has is he's not, he's not the most aggressive player. He's a little slow, but he drops 40s and 50s every single map, dude. Uh, they got fourth place, like I said. And they did pretty decent. They did pretty friggin' decent. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and head to his third place team. I, de I like this team, all right? I did not have them qualifying in the league, but I thought they I thought they were in my mind, but I just didn't have them in my top four. Team Orbit. They got $1,500 and 2,200 pro points each. 
accuracy, Facinto, happy burns off. Facinto, he plays second in champs with that TR squad. You got accuracy. He hasn't been on a team since that, um, since Aware North America and the beginning of AW. Then you got Happy from AR, and you have Burns. I love Burns, he's just a funny guy. He's really good at the game too. Burns went off, guys, he really did. He was vocal, he, he was just a slayer of this event. He did extremely good. Uh, they got third, like I said. Let's go ahead and go to the second place team, Epsilon in North America. They get $2,500, 3,000 pro points each. Swanee, Remy, Nagafin, Royalty. Royalty deserves to be on a bigger team. Royalty is so good at this game. He plays on Chwasis, Tempe, no scuff, or he doesn't play Claw. He plays with a regular Xbox controller on 12 sensitivity. This kid is a freak of nature. He is literally like Wolverine mixed with a freaking flying frog. Like, I'm pretty sure he is a mutation. He's freaking awesome. I would lick his nose. I would literally, I, I would probably chew on his earlobe more than Moach. And I love Moach, guys. Like, I would freaking, I don't even know what I'd do to Moach. But I would do some crazy things to royalty. Like he's a he's a good guy, alright? Now this next team, this first place team, they have five thousand dollars, five thousand pro points each. Isolation Empire. If you didn't have them in your top four, you suck wiener, okay? I can't stand people who doubt this team. I've been watching them for a while. Dito Lama got Havoc Silly. They they in the past they had Daughter X for Silly, but uh, they ended up dropping Daughter X for Silly, obviously. And um I love this Isolation Empire team. ISO, really good team. I had my I had them in my top four. I thought they were a really good team. It was I I've been watching them for a long time. That long time. They deserve it. They are just a really good friggin' team, guys. Like I they really do deserve it. They practice, they play in 5Ks, 10Ks, 2Ks every single weekend. They just do a lot of stuff. And they placed first, obviously. That you know they I really truly do think they deserved it. And I, they got the placing that they deserve, in my opinion. But let's go and head into my top four, my personal top four. I thought it was going to be ISO, Epsilon, Optic Nation, and Prof. I got, I got three fours to that. I was really close, but, you know, Orbit qualified over Prof. And I was just like, ah, it kind of hurt me in the inside. I do like this team. Uh, I, I really like the Prof team. Sadly, they're going to obviously break up because of, yeah. But I'll, I'll make a video on roster media in a little bit. You know, I'll make it like tomorrow or the next day or next week. I don't know. I'll happen. I'll, when all these roster changes are, um, like, are, what's the word? Um, I can't think of the word. But, like, when they're all, um, okay, I can't think of the word, guys. I really can't. My, my, I just had a brain fart. But, um, yeah, I thought it was a pretty cool video, man. I just wanted to make a results video on the Season 3 Relegation Tournament. Holy crap. I did not know freaking Ivy was Canadian. I I wonder if he actually lives in Canada. I just said Canada. Oh no, no. Okay, I I'm sorry. I just said Canada. I mean, I wonder if Ivy actually lives in Canada. Uh, I didn't. I had no idea Ivy was Canada. I mean, Canadian. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm really happy. And uh, something else. I'm really happy is Epsilon squad qualified because Swanee can now stay in the United States. And, that just gives me a smile on my face. He's a really good AR player. He deserves it, guys. He really does. He really does deserve it. Obviously. All right, guys. But if you did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe, follow my social media. Links will be in the description below. It's been Jalen, guys. Peace out, everybody.